Hey guys, before we get started, I wanted to let you know you can use my creator code on mobile now. It's super easy. All you have to do is when you're on your phone and you buy Robux, click on the bottom where it says type in star code and type in Shane Plays. I'm the best fans in the world and I appreciate all the support. Okay, on to the video. Oh wow, here it is, Brookhaven School. Oh, I'm really nervous. I don't really know what to make of all this. It's kind of overwhelming. I'm kind of sad too. I can't believe I had to leave my hometown. My dad lost his job and now we have to come to this weird place, Brookhaven? I have to completely start all over and now I'm the new kid at school. Oh, it stinks being the new kid. Hey, what are you doing standing around? Aren't you late to class? Oh yeah, I'm I'm really sorry. It's my it's my first day and I don't really know where to go. First day and you don't even have a map? What are you even doing here? Yeah, it's my first day and I just don't really know what to do. Is there any way you could help me? I'm not gonna help you. Go fetch a map and get to class yourself, alright? Get out of my face. Oh, okay, sure, no problem, sir. I can't believe this is happening to me. It's just like I thought. Everything's gonna go bad and awful. And that teacher was so mean. I just wanna go back to my old life, my home and my friends. But I know I can't, which is so stupid. I wish there was something I could do about this. Oh, why did my dad have to lose his job? Oh, hey. Oh, is something wrong? Oh, yeah, sorry. I'm just having a really hard day. It's. My first day at this new school, and I just got yelled at by this awful teacher. <laughs> yeah, it kind of happens to everyone. That was just the mean teacher. This is actually a pretty cool school. Really? Well, my first impression is this is kind of tough. I don't know if I can do this. Uh, I'm sure you'll be alright. Uh, name's George, by the way. Uh, hi, George. I'm Mitch. It's really nice to meet you. Uh, if you'd like, I can show you your way to class. Oh, really? Oh, that would help so much. I have no idea where anything is. Yeah, the place can be a tad bit confusing, but with my expertise, you'll get away just fine. Awesome. Thanks, man. I really appreciate it. And I have to say, it's really nice to make a new friend on my first day. <laughs> yeah, same here. All right, dude. Well, can you show me to class? Yeah, for sure. This way. Man, my first gym class. I'm actually really excited. I love playing soccer, and maybe I can make the soccer team. Yeah, I know. You're actually not that bad. I think you should try out. Yeah, you think so? Uh, I hope the other teammates like me. I mean, I am the new kid after all. Eh, I'm sure they'll soften up to you. Just gotta show confidence, that's all. Well, look who it is. Just a couple of losers. <laughs> wow, and who's this loser? I've never seen your ugly face before. Uh, hi. Yeah, I'm Mitch. I'm new here, actually. I'm the new kid. I'm Mitch and the new kid. You sound stupid. What are you doing, Nate? Don't you have something else better to do? What, you think you're going to talk to the captain of the soccer team like that, George? Ugh, gosh, you're annoying, too. Nate, why are you going around picking on the new kid, okay? Aren't you supposed to be the soccer captain, not some bully? That's right, I am the soccer captain, and don't you forget it. And don't even think about trying out for the team either, new kid. I don't want you ruining my winning streak. I'm not going to ruin your winning streak, I promise. I'm actually a pretty good player, and I think I could be a really good part of the team. Yeah, I think I could be a really good part of the team. Oh my gosh, you're so annoying. Get out of here, Nate. Come on, dude. It's not cool. Yeah, whatever. You're not cool, George. But I've got better stuff to do anyways. You guys better watch your backs. Wow, that guy has a real big attitude problem, huh? Yeah, that's just Nate. He's a bit of a hothead. Sorry about that. No, it's okay. But I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't try out for the team after all. I mean, if he doesn't like me and he's the captain, I don't know if we're going to really work out together. Oh, come on, Mitch. You can't think that way. Don't let him get to you. You can totally do this. You're like one of the best players I've ever seen in this school. You know, thanks, George. I really appreciate that. You know, maybe I will just try out for the soccer team anyways. Oh, man. This day has been awful. I can't believe that guy Nate is so mean. Oh, I just hope the rest of this day turns out better. I can't wait to get home. Hey, is everything okay? You look kind of upset. 
Oh, hi. Um, yeah, I just had a really rough day. It was my first day at the school, and I'm still kind of new. Oh my gosh, you're the new kid. Hey, it's nice to meet you. My name's Angela. Hi, Angela. I'm Mitch. It's really nice to meet you, too. Well, look, I'm really sorry you had such a bad day. Do you want to talk about it, maybe? Um, yeah, sure. It just seemed to be really rough, and not a lot of people were nice to me. This guy, Nate, was just screaming at me, and I had this awful teacher yell at me the second I walked into school. It was a lot. Oh, yikes. Yeah, that does not sound like a fun day at all. I'm so sorry. Well, thanks. I really appreciate that. One of the few good things today was I got to meet one person that was nice. His name is George, and I think he's actually going to be a really good friend. That's super exciting. And hey, you also met me, so I'll be another one of your new friends. Oh, wow. Yeah, this is awesome. Oh, I'm sorry. My phone's ringing. Hold on. I got to take this call. Hey, Dad, what's up? What do you mean you're not going to come pick me up? I have to walk home? I don't even know where home is. Okay. All right, fine. We'll see you later tonight. Bye, Dad. Hey, I'm really sorry. I've got to go. i got to start walking home. Um, but maybe I'll see you around school tomorrow? Yeah, that sounds great. I'm excited to see you later. All right, awesome. See you later, Angela. Hey, Angela, what are you doing talking to that loser? You're losing some brain cells every time you speak to him. Wait, what? What are you talking about? He's not a loser. He just seemed like a kid who was having a tough day. Yeah, that's what you'd think. Except I know he's the worst person in this whole school. And everybody should hate him. And you won't believe what I heard. You know, kid, you're really good at soccer. I haven't seen anyone play like that in the school in like over 10 years. Wow, really? Thanks, coach. I mean, I really love the game. It's probably my favorite thing ever. Well, keep playing like that and you'll be in the team in no time. Hey, uh, coach, I don't think this guy should be on our team at all, okay? I heard a rumor from his old school that he's actually a cheater and a liar. Well, you know what, Nate? I also heard a rumor that he's going to be part of your team. Yeah, Nate, and I think we should really start working on getting along because... You know, the team works better when we're all friends. Yeah, the team works better when we're all friends. Coach, you hear this guy? He sounds so stupid, doesn't he? Gosh. Nate, I don't appreciate this kind of language towards your new teammate, all right? I think you need to go sit in the bench. Uh, I don't think so, okay? I'm the captain here of this whole team, and I don't want this loser on my team ruining our winning streak. We're going to the Nationals, coach, and we don't want this loser ruining it for us. I promise I'm not going to ruin it, Nate. I'm actually a really, really good player. The coach even said so. Yeah, but I'm the captain, and what I say goes around here, okay? And I don't want you on my team. I think you're pathetic, and you're a loser, and I hate your stupid face. Hey, Nate, you keep talking like that. You weren't going to be the captain anymore. Yeah, whatever. I got to go cool off. I don't want to be anywhere near this loser. Man, I hate that guy. He's a total loser and he's going to ruin everything. He thinks he can just come here being the new kid and just take over my position as captain of the team. I've worked so hard for this team and I'm not going to let anybody stand in my way. Gosh, I hate that guy. Nate, what are you crying about? I can hear you down the hall. Oh, Mr. Green, it's awful. It's just awful. That new loser Mitch is going to be on the soccer team, and now he's going to try out for the captain's position, and he's going to kick me off the team, and he hates me so much. Oh, yeah, that dumb new kid. You know what? I'm going to handle everything, all right? This kid is going to be out of the school by the end of tomorrow. Oh, really? Mr. Green, you're going to get him kicked out of school? Oh, this is going to be awesome. Yeah, I don't want losers in the school. And if you keep crying about it, I'm going to have to kick you out too. So I'm going to handle this kid. Okay, Mr. Green, I promise I won't cry anymore. Just as long as you promise to make sure Mitch doesn't get on the team and he gets kicked out of school. I don't have to promise to you. I'm just going to do it. Now get back to class, Nate. All right, all right, fine. Mitch, could you please come down to the principal's office, please? Mitch to the principal's office immediately. Oh, wow. I wonder what this is about. My first time getting called to the principal's office? Oh, man. This doesn't sound good.
Uh, hello, Principal Florenstein. Uh, Mr. Green, what what's going on here? There he is. There is the cheater. Well, Mitch, I learned something terribly awful about you today, and I'm really disturbed by it. Uh, what what are you talking about? Well, apparently, what you've been doing is you've been running around and stealing from everybody in the school, and you've been cheating on your tests, and you've been lying to everyone. What? Who said that? I, are you kidding? I have never stolen a thing in my life. Oh, look at him, denying it. We all know that you did it. I didn't do anything. Where's your proof? Shh. You think we need proof? We just know that you did it, all right? Yeah, and if enough people are saying it, it has to be true about you, Mitch. I'm really, really sorry, but I have to do this. You are expelled from school, and you must leave immediately. What? Please, Mr. Florenstein, please, don't expel me. I just got here. How could I do any of the stuff that people are saying? Aw, oh, shush, Mitch. All right, crying's not going to get you anywhere. That's right, Mitch. I can't stand crying. I cry every single night, and I'm sick of it, and I can't hear anyone else cry anymore. Please leave school grounds immediately. Oh, fine, fine. This is the worst day of my life. Hey, Angela, why are you looking so sad? What happened? It's about Mitch. Yeah, what about the loser? Come on, you can't let him get you upset. Did he say something mean to you or something? No, he didn't upset me, and I know he didn't do what he got expelled for. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no kidding, Angela. I totally set him up. I needed him out of here. I can't believe you would do that, Nate. Are you serious? That's horrible. Oh, come on. It's not that bad. One little loser getting kicked out of school forever. Pff, come on, Angela. Not a big deal. He's a stupid idiot. No, he's not. And what you did was wrong. You helped nobody but yourself. And you're just jealous. Yeah, I ain't jealous of that loser. And I ain't jealous of nothing. Pff, whatever, Angela. You want to get sad about this loser? Go for it. Now listen, Angela, I'm a very busy man and I have a lot of things on my plate, okay? Do you have any idea how stressful it is to organize field day for you kids? Look, I'm sorry, but I'm here about Mitch. He should not have gotten expelled, okay? Well, I don't know about that, Angela. It seems as though everybody's been pretty honest about everything, you know. And he did seem kind of suspicious, and all those things did go missing. But no, sir, it wasn't him. Look, I have proof. Check out my recording. I totally set him up. I needed him out of here. See, Nate confessed to everything. He was the one that did it, not Mitch. Oh man, I can't believe it. I got bamboozled by that guy, Nate, again. He cheated his way to be the soccer captain. Now he's doing this. I can't believe I fell for it. Wow, that's it. Nate's getting expelled. We gotta get Mitch back here in school and fast. Um, Angela, I just have to say, thank you so much for everything. Can't believe I'm finally back at school. I know, I'm so happy to have you back, Mitch. And I'm really glad that we were able to get to the truth. Yeah, and can you believe it? The principal actually made me the soccer captain. Well, now that Nate's been expelled. I know, that's super exciting. But I'm even happier that Nate got what he deserved. You can't be getting people in trouble. Yeah, especially if they didn't do anything the person said. I can't believe he would just do that to me just because he didn't like me and he was jealous. But whatever, we don't have to worry about him anymore. Uh-oh, <gasps> Mitch, the bell, ah! We gotta go to class or else we're gonna be super late.